Today you'll be cooking a fish that's from Uwa's range of sustainable seafood. So we hear a lot about sustainable seafood, but it's not only a buzzword. It's something we all are gonna have to live by if we still want to be enjoying seafood in the 21st century. I love seafood and I love the fact that Woolworths has a sustainable fish range. It makes me feel a little bit better and in positive about cooking seafood. And that's why today you're going to be cooking a fish that's on the green list of the South African Sustainable Seafood Initiative. So you can cook this and still stay on the side of the angels. <laughs> and if we're going to talk about angels, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one fish that fits the bill. Rube, give me a hand here. Yep. Let's get this baby open. Come on, Pete. Yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, angelfish. When I first saw the angelfish, I was excited. I was like, damn, what will I prepare? And because this is boot camp, you're going to be working with it from scratch. My heart is sinking. I should have practiced at least filleting a fish. It's just the plain whole fish, so it's going to be a tough challenge. I'm a bit nervous. I've never filleted a fish before, but hey, there's always a first time. I was putting off filleting the fish because I was afraid to do it. But once I got stuck into it, it was fun. Judges, they're going to be judging based on your technique and your potential. So it's not only that final plate, which means you're going to be watched for 75 minutes and birds. I'm crossing fingers. I feel very nervous. I've never cooked fish before and I, I, I'm not a seafood person. Well, angelfish is a very difficult fish to fillet because then it's a round fish, but it looks flat. And yeah, then the fillet you shape. take off, yeah, the same way that you would do when you're doing, you know, your soul. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I've seen a lot of people that have been leaving a whole lot of meat on the bone and also on the skin. Because then it's easier once you've taken it off the bone and then you take it yeah. off the skin with the knife underneath the flesh. Because that skin is very it's thick and it's got all those fins on the top. Exactly. Not an easy fish to tackle. Huh? Yeah. I was amazed to see so many people actually scaling the fish. Yeah to use the skin. If you try and get that skin nice and crisp, you're under risk of overcooking the fish. This, it's a tough skin. I, I'd be inclined to leave it off because it'll, it'll just be leathery and it'll be tasteless. With an angel fish, I've tasted it before, but I've never worked with it before. So I'm gonna work on the, the way it tastes and the texture. Hello, Jillian. Hi. So tell us what you're making. Uh, today I'm gonna make an Asian-inspired uh, steamed fish. It looks like you've done this before. I no, mean, many, this many, is my many first pros. Time. Couldn't have done that better. I just watched you and that's it. <laughs> just from watching you just did from that. Just from watching, yes. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you so much. After making the fish, I started making the noodles. I have made noodles before, but never a squid ink noodle. It was sort of like an experiment. Hi, I'm Gillian. Uh, I'm from Pretoria. I'm an English teacher. I moved here from Taiwan when I was nine and I grew the love for cooking and got an exposed to South African food as well as Taiwanese food. My fiance, Brendan, he's the one that actually encouraged me to go and audition. I'd love to take away whatever I can from the experience and hopefully win MasterChef because that is my dream. Hi there. Hello, Benny. I see you struggling a bit with the fish there. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit neurotic because I was going to cook with the skin, but now I've the skin doesn't actually feel very nice. Okay. See, that's it feels a good like it sign. might be thick. That's a good sign. If so, you're feeling the fish and you're really not okay with it, then you make that call. It's got a very leathery texture, and I thought it's not, it's not going to come up crisp as I wanted to. So I skinned the fish. But it was very difficult because the skin's very floppy without the scales, and I'd already scaled it. Because it's a hot day, I wanted to keep it light and fresh. I decided to make a salsa verde with a cauliflower and sweet potato mash and ceviche. I removed the skin because with that fillet I'm going to make ceviche. I salt it and put lemon on to uh, cure it a little bit, keeping it simple. What are you making for uh, us? I'm making a uh, pan fried angel fish with spiced potato cylinders and a coriander and garlic green chili sauce to go with it. And my plating will look quite beautiful. That's great. 
Ian, how's it going, man? How's it going? Yeah, good, good. So, do you choosing to keep the fish on the boat? It's the only way that I know. Okay, I'm yeah. be completely wrong. If you're going to put it on the on the brine, that's not a bad way to go. Okay, fantastic. Excellent. Thank you. Great stuff, man. Cheers. I'm a solid home cook. It's always been the passion. Let's see where it can go. Hello, Roxy. Hi. What are you making? I'm actually doing an angelfish laxa. I'm going to make a, a curry paste from the beginning. That's correct, Roxy. Filleted that fish and it was like perfect. Refilue from Caltonville. Yes, chef. Okay, I see you wrapping your fish. Yes. Tell me what you're doing. I'm doing um, a fish palitone wrapped with um, sturkey bacon. Yeah. And I'm doing mascarpone mashed potatoes. Yeah. I'm gonna have a chili butter sauce to serve with it. Chili and, butter. Yes, and mushrooms. Oh, so many elements, and hopefully you're gonna get exactly what you say. <laughs> you will. Okay. <laughs> I'm hoping that I have the skill that they're looking for and I'll be able to plate something good. I'm just gonna cut the mango, fry off the fish, and hopefully 30 minutes is what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm trying to shake my fish cakes. The fish cakes aren't holding. They just, they just falling apart. I literally have to hold it in my hand and put some, some egg on it and sprinkle flour and just hope it works. Uh, I'm worried about getting my fish cooked in time. The pressure's on. I've got to rise to the occasion. This was, this was a passion of mine growing up. Uh, we just got to pray and hope that that fish gets cooked in time. It's a fish that I've eaten before but never really made. So I don't want to overcook it. Fish is delicate, so time and temperature really will play a big role here. I'm going to do pan-fried fillet of angelfish, crusted in some fresh herbs, and gnocchi. I'm feeling good. I just want to get my fish on the pan. I'm busy preparing my vegetables that's going with my steamed fish, and then I'm going to be making my pasta. So far, so good. Touch wood. <laughs> At the moment, I'm making an aioli because my chicken cones are made to drink cup the way I want it. I was desperate to make that sauce. Now I'm stressed. Hi, Jalen. It's good in Canoon. Yes, it is. I'm serving it with some Chinese king oyster mushrooms and some lovely um, broccoli. What is it going to look like on the plate? Um, I'm going to try bed it in the middle and then serve my fish over it with the glaze over it. This is actually a great way of cooking angel fish because wow. it's, it's so delicate. And before I even had a chance to taste my noodles, they tasted it for me. I've seen different textures. I've seen different cooking methods. Impressive. Thank you so much, Chef. And I love the flavors that have been steamed in there. You obviously know exactly what you're this doing. This is what I love this. doing. But you know what? I think, I think we've seen enough. Yeah? We're ready to send you through. Thank you so much. Yeah. Through to the next round. You've done a great job, Julian. I couldn't even believe it. <laughs> Yay! Lovely stuff. OK, guys, we've already sent one contestant through to the next round. I am the first person to make it through boot camp. <laughs>